This is a difficult time for so many of you as the dark entities infiltrate wherever they can, to cause disruption and chaos in their desperation to survive. Indeed, someone brought such entities into our home recently. The constant disruption to the electricity supply, which has prevented you from carrying out our work, is an example of this interference. It searches out people who get close to you, in order to disrupt our work and cause disharmony where there should be none. I know it is always difficult to make people understand that they have been infiltrated and that they need help to remove the entity. The entity itself convinces them that this is a ridiculous suggestion, and so it continues to control them. This has gone on throughout history. Soon it will no longer be possible to do this. Remember my dear, many are called but few are chosen. Be strong, my dear, as you face yet another crisis. You will be assisted in deciding who you can trust and who must withdraw. Those within the cabal are clever and they appeal to people's weaknesses and egos, quickly taking control of their minds. So you really do not know who you are dealing with. They attack you and your work. But you, my dear, are made of sterner stuff. You have had to deal with similar situations in the past, and no doubt, there will be more in the future. Deal with the situation with compassion. Try to help those who are overcome, to understand that they are no longer in control of their lives, and in the end they will be destroyed and discarded when no longer of use. There is a battle going on between the light and the dark, and you are all in the middle of it, struggling to survive. It is disrupting your sleep and making people anxious about the future. It will come to an end, as you know in your hearts and souls, that the light will triumph. It is just a question of being strong and not giving in to the fear that is being created all around you. The weather is being manipulated, food shortages are being created, businesses are being forced to close, all in order to create chaos and hardship. It is all part of their great plan. The Illuminati figures are struggling to hold on, as everything around them changes, and people ask questions and begin to see the light. The propaganda machine is now open to scrutiny. People are seeing through the lies which, not so long ago, they would have accepted as absolute truth. You can now see that before every tragedy or situation occurs, their explanations have, so obviously, been prepared in advance. But these explanations do not fit the situations anymore. In fact, this is adding to their downfall. The light is shining upon their actions, exposing them for what they are. Their great illusion is being exposed. At last, humanity is beginning to see things as they are, not as it was told they are. Once you grasp the reality of it all, you are home and dry. You, each and every one of you, is bringing this about. You are taking back your planet from the usurpers. It is difficult to accept that such evil entities have controlled you and your planet and kept you as prisoners and slaves. Be prepared. Start researching the real truth of who you are, and your true history, which bears no resemblance to what you were taught. It is time to question everything and everyone. Refuse to be treated like sheep anymore. We are orchestrating everything from this side of life, so we are dealing with the opposition also, by helping you to see the truth. You are fighting for your lives and the future of humanity. You cannot afford to be complacent. It is your duty to expose all the evil that has kept you in darkness, and your planet in isolation. Humanity is crying out for freedom from tyranny and corruption. It is time for them to leave your planet. They appear to those on your planet to be people, but they are not. They do not have compassion and they despise you. They want your planet for themselves. They only require a select few of you to serve them as slaves. They look down on you as lesser mortals, seeing themselves as superior, when in fact, nothing is further from the truth. However, you are winning the war on every level. They waged war against your souls, your minds, and your very existence, and they almost won. You owe a great deal to those who, for years, have faced ridicule and attack because they told the truth and exposed corruption. Let love be your guiding light. The corrupt are not capable of love, for love is giving, and they do not understand the concept of giving. Love survives, creating an imprint on the soul that cannot be erased. 
You and I are an example of this, not even death can extinguish it. I am aware, my dear, that it is the ninth anniversary of my passing on the January 15th. Do not mourn me, as I am still with you. I prove to you, every day, that I have never left your energy. That is the power of love. To have love in your life is to have everything. My love grows stronger with each passing year, nourishing your life and supporting our work. Together, we can move mountains. You're adoring, Monty.